Welcome to our Divine Light Healing Circle on October the 26th in 2022. As we are already used to, we are going in the Divine Light and today it is for the purpose of healing of old connections and maybe also new connections which are attached to us through our chakras. And then also we are going to a higher dimensional platform where we are going to uh, bring our healing group participants to get uh, assistance and help with their physical and emotional and mental and maybe even spiritual ailments. For that we are closing our eyes and calling in the beautiful golden light. First, I want to make sure that everything is muted. Wonderful. And with calling in the golden light from the universal oneness into the top of our heads, into every single cell of our brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and neck, Golden light floats into our shoulders, arms, hands, and out of our fingertips. Golden light floats along our spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into the whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots, all old non-supportive beliefs, can be swept away into Mother Earth for recycling, but just a glistening, wonderful golden light prevails. And then we let it overflow from our heart into our aura, our electromagnetic field, filling up our auric field with beautiful gold, smoothing over all energy disruptions or energy holes to make our energy field strong. And then we are condensing the golden ring to a golden ring of fire around us, keeping us safe and secure at all times. Today, I would like to invite also the color frequencies of healing for our day while we are asking, what color frequency would make me feel and be my best today? And we are bringing that personalized energy in from the universal oneness into the top of our heads, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and neck, shoulders, arms, hands, and out of our fingertips. The personalized healing frequency flows along our spine and muscle structure, into the heart and chest opening both wide, solar plexus to make it more radiant, whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and throw the feet into the ground like roots. All old energies which are not belonging to our energy system accumulated throughout the day or any other non-supportive energies can be swept away into Mother Earth for recycling, which gets a good dose of this wonderful healing frequency too. And let that healing frequency swirl all the way down into the core center of Mother Earth, and then slowly snake up like a spiral onto the surface, permeating the Earth's core all the way up to the surface with this healing frequency of unique light. And then it evaporates from the crust, from the surface of Mother Earth, into all the beings, human or animal, even beings out of this world who need this frequency of healing to be strengthened and healed and supported. And while this energy is flowing through us like a bright light stream and flowing into Mother Earth and swirls then up to the ground 
to the surface and into the beings of various forms and shapes. It also flows from our heart into our aura, into our golden security bubble, into our golden light bubble, smoothing over all energy holds and strengthen us a little bit further. And while we are inhaling, this particular frequency is expands our aura all the way up into our workroom. Easily and naturally, our energy expands and gets energized. And now we are calling it a white, silver, sparkling light like a myriads of tiny little diamonds which shimmer in many rainbow forms and colors. This stream comes from the universal oneness of direct from source with its myriad of possibilities, with its myriad of realities, with its myriad of opportunities to heal and expand and go to the next level, flowing into the top of our head, into the head, into the eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and the neck. This white silver sparkling diamond light flows into our shoulders, arms, hands, and out of our fingertips. But this time it will accumulate in our palms, getting ready to link up with high frequency beings. While it flows continuously into the back spine and back muscle structure into the heart and chest opening goes wide, clicking open our heart chakra beautifully and then further down into the solar plexus, clicking our solar plexus wide open and further into the digestive system and clicking open the second chakra and the first chakra beautifully. With the white silver diamond sparkling light, everything which is in those chakras will naturally eliminate it through the spinning of those chakras. It's almost like slinging out the mud and only the purifying white silver sparkling diamond light prevails as it flows further into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots. And through the feet further into all areas under our homes or apartments, the place we live right now, purifying anything in our environment on which our place stands. Anything in our environment, this white silver sparkling diamond light comes in contact with will be purified easily and naturally. And further goes down also into the core structure and core crystalline structure of mother earth, seeking its path to all crystalline caves seeking its path to all crystalline fields, seeking its path to all crystals, which from from here on out hold a specific frequency, which is an embedded new frequency of healing, embooed through the white, silver, sparkling diamond light, a new ray of purification and encoding from the divine. This is part of a crystalline activation, which just recently started and now activates and accelerates crystalline structures and crystals all over the planet. While we are letting more of this light permeate through into the core of Mother Earth, it finds its way like rivers and veins of light through the body of Mother Earth pulsing and activating as it goes, 
pulsating faster and faster and brighter and brighter, pulsating and activating with a sparkling light which holds its own intelligence. And as it is finding its way to the surface like fountains of light, activating crystalline mountains and crystalline beds or caves or streams, people who are open can absorb this crystalline light through their feet who are ready to receive. It can be absorbed by the ground through the feet and bubble up like a fountain into their whole body to energize and purify each and every one who is open to receive this high vibrational detoxifying encoded light. As we are now sitting here, we are calling in all the light beings and guiding ones who want to be of service for this particular healing circle. And we are feeling now hands of light beings or maybe even paws or wings of light beings in our hands. Some on our right, some on our left, some maybe behind us, in front of us, above us and even below us. We are totally engulfed with a swarm of light beings, all with the best and highest intent to be of service for the divine order and to stabilize our planet and life forms on it. And as we are now establishing our energy rounds from one person to the next, to the next, to the next in our circle and networking from our hearts to each other and from our hands touching each other easily and naturally, the energy accelerates. And from our palms flow out streams of white, silver, sparkling diamond light into the center of our circle, wherever that geographic center might be. It will find its own way. And as this is flowing, it looks like we are creating a golden, white, silver, sparkling, diamond light lotus. The golden light strands from our palms, which flow to the center, are like leaves of a lotus. The intensifying white light in the middle with gold sparkles and also silver white crystalline sparkles intensifies and opens itself up like a blooming energy field. Into this blooming energy field, we are calling now out all groupings from our list because we have so many groupings, we take all of them, all the beings we have on our list, their souls and their bodies, energetically and purposefully into this glowing center. And I would like you to pay attention as one by one or two or three or 10, they flow energetically into the center of this glowing light, how maybe the light flickers and changes. It flickers and changes and might even change color according to the theme 
when people enter. So you might notice that the theme of the cancer afflicted people might make the lotus flames shine a different color or the emotional distress and so on. Just notice the different colors which want to support our healing circle today, blooming out like a living fire into the center of this light lotus. As this lotus is full of helping hands, all sorts of beings, predominantly those who are in the task force of lightheartedness and upliftedness, conjoin the dance in this lotus flower. Conjoin the dance of higher awareness. As higher awareness is now projected into every individual on our list. And maybe you might even see fairies dancing in the light. Maybe you see animal of power striding around the light or also into the light or flying over. But it seems to me that there is a dance of many beings helping to bring sadness and transform it into laughter, to bring happiness into lightheartedness, to bring dis-ease into ease, to bridge hopelessness into hopefulness, and so on. Why these beings on our lists are going to be taken care of and everyone, including our own self, is worked on. We are holding the space while we are going on a little individual journey. I would like you now to choose a chakra where you feel the heaviest, whether it's the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, the second or first chakra, or even the earth chakra underneath our feet, or a higher spiritual chakra in our energy body. Choose one which seems the most afflicted right now, and see your chakra as a kaleidoscope, as a gateway to an area which we allow now to be healed. We are going towards that chakra and letting again white, silver, sparkling diamond light cleanse it and clear it consciously so that any kind of pressure or any kind of dirt or any kind of non-supportive energy can be finally released. Then we are following that stream, that kaleidoscope of that chakra, inward or outward, whatever comes more natural in your case. And we are following in as we are sucked into a place and time and space where healing of our own person is needed where your soul self, maybe even in another form, another lifetime, or maybe in this lifetime, in time and space needed help. And while part of you is still holding space for the glorious light lotus in our center, another part of you can lift off into that moment in time and space and with your vibrational energy wings like that of an angel embrace that self which was maybe frightened or panicky or hurt or alone or whatever it might be needed help 
embrace that part of you which needed help with full light force of your presence now. Hug it, kiss it, merge with it, whatever you need to do to make that part feel better. Feel more glorious. Feel more accepted. Feel more purified. Feel more in harmony. Feel more in alignment. Feel more open. Feel more brilliant in your existence in time and space. And as you're doing this, you will feel the acceleration of energy pulsing through you, your physical form, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spirit body. As you're becoming a glorious light flame on all levels, a purifying gateway and portal in time and space, and all the little fragments which you have within yourself, which you are in resistance of the highest form of alignment, can be transmuted and transformed right now. If you have many, you might point to them and they will be eliminated, transmuted and transformed. Or you just see them and say, you can be released to the next level of existence. The white silver sparkling diamond light has consciousness from source. It will help to do exactly what needs to be done for your individual part. From there on, you might see stars and planets as you might look into the universe. If not, a gateway in front of you might open to which you can dive and swim like a dolphin in time and space to many instances where you had the utmost joy, the utmost power, the utmost clarity within your being, this vast being of your soul self. And as you're touching these parts of yourself in time and space, you're creating a string and a strand, which is now connected to this body here in time and space, October 26 and beyond in 2022. You are therefore nourished by the higher aspects of your presence all over in existence. You might feel an acceleration in your body or you might feel a level, a level of weightedness. But this weightedness is not an additional burden 
but more like energy coming in to be integrated to make you a more vast and maybe even powerful being of change on this planet to transmute and transform even more in your daily activities and in your dream time at night. Many of you are active nighttime workers and leave your body with your conscious awareness to do additional work and being of the service for the divine. So this is an additional activation of power within the grid of this artificial existence to make you more prevalent and give you additional tools in your day-to-day -day time. You might not always know exactly what's happening when you're activating a tool, but it will become clear along the lines. Do not worry. As you are beings of the highest intention with the highest purpose to heal and support not only this planet, but also every individual and animal on this planet, we give you the tools of higher dimensional existence to transmute and transform wherever it is needed. These tools will be on your fingertips. You can mentally touch or physical touch and it will be better. Slowly and steadily will be, we will be risen a little bit higher to a different kind of energy. As you know already, we are going to the pyramid high up in time and space, but connected to this earth plane. There at this pyramid, where we are leading a strand of energy from polarity to oneness, we are entering the pyramid with the intention to learn more about oneness and higher existence. With that intention of bringing to pass higher existence and oneness, we are receiving a very personal gift. As you're now standing in the center of the pyramid, the gift might drop into you through your crown in the form of a symbol, in the form of a talent, in the form of magnetism to draw in the right things at the right time as you need it. In the form of connectedness, finding the right people which were important or are important to you, whatever it might be, you're getting this gift now. Nobody can ever take this away from you. 
this energy imprint of the gift will be embedded in you always as needed. But now we are sinking in gently and easily back more into our physical form and paying more attention to the flower lotus in our center of the circle. This light lotus in which light the members in need of healing have been dwelling to receive their healing and their unique gifts to be able to move forward more lighthearted and uplifted and more joyous in every single day as we are now calling them out of this flower back into their bodies in time and space, wherever they are residing right now, to have the stimulus to feel way better about every day from here on out, going up is the only way to go energetically. We are thanking all beings who helped within the Lotus Light to heal and bring laughter and lightheartedness. And we release you to your spheres with gratefulness and gratitude for the healing received and perceived by the individuals on our list. And we are now integrating this tremendous light force and cleansing streams and information into our body. And we might feel this tremendous lightness which moves us beyond the heaviness of everyday life. Let it flow consciously through you, knowing that light always will be available to you whenever you need it in any kind of circumstance. So we bring our palms together after we say thank you to the ones who helped us on the right. And thank you to the ones who helped us on the left and all the ones around you to bring our palms together and bring our presence together into the here and now, in the here and now where we serve and exist in time and space. Feel your body, feel your feet standing or laying on Mother Earth. Feel your head, your shoulders, your midsection. Feel your whole body integrated in the light stream. Feel your portal self. And it's up to you whether you keep it open as an open standing portal of light pouring continuously light into the world or whether you might dim the light a little bit to be less noticed in your day-to-day -day activities. That is up to your transgression. 
But for now, we are bringing it back into our bodies. And whenever you're ready, and only when you're ready, you can open your eyes.